It's time. Time for Norton Blue Jays Sports on Superstar Country 102.5 and Superstar1025.com. Welcome back to Scottsdale, Kansas, home of the Pink Out. I had a Pink Out ceremony here honoring those that are battling cancer and, and those who are in remembrance of cancer that uh, lost the battle. And a uh, very nice ceremony that they did here. A lot of teams wearing their pink, including Norton. And now it's time for Norton to take on the host team, Scott City, who has played two sets. They have won and lost one, just as Norton has won and lost one in their pool play, and they are in Pool A. Uh, Scott City played against uh, Wheat, uh, excuse me, Garden Plains, and Garden Plains won. And then their first set they played, uh, I believe, it was against Wheatland. And they uh, and they defeated Wheatland in two sets, so they are one and one. Norton defeated Lakin in our first set, and then fall, falling to Garden Plains in the second set and the second match in two sets, and they are also one and one. So Garden Plain has the 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 lead in this pool, um, and uh, so they have the advantage coming out of the pool into the championship play. Uh, so this is a key game for Norton with both teams being one and one Yeah, absolutely. So the Blue Jays have all the tools. They're just a little off today. I'm not sure what's going on with them, but hopefully they can all regroup and bring some energy and really get going. Maybe they got some food. It's a long day to get up, travel a couple hours and come, but we have our good starting uh, server back there and Hallie Brooks to get us going. Scott City comes in 11-7-2, Norton 15-3. Actually, I think 15 and 4 after. And that was before the tournament started, yeah. 11, 7, and yeah. 2 for Scott City as well. We're underway. Here's play by play by Jody Cox. Scott City passes it, have it over to Norton. Taylor with the pa- uh, set. Chloe trying to hit it and out of bounds. First point of the match goes to Scott City. One to nothing. We now have matches on both the north and south side. We are on the north side of the court of the gymnasium. Served by Scott. Taylor tried to get out of the net. Ellie Miller tips it over. Scott City did a good job keeping it inside the antennas. Ellie hits it off a quick set in the middle. Scott City over. Howie with the pass. Taylor sets it outside to Audrey. Audrey hits it hard. And that's a kill. So they couldn't quite get to the ball after it went off the girl. If you're watching this on Facebook, on the far court is where Norton is. They're both wearing pink. And you can uh, see on the far court where Miller is getting set to serve. Scott City on the near side. Balls up. Serve to the middle in the back. Set by Scott City. Outside hit. Goes deep. Ellie gets it up. Howie tries to pass it over. Audrey tried to go down the line, and it was out. Oh, but they called Scott City in the net. All right. Point Blue Jays. Norton leads 2-1. to one. If you're not watching on Facebook, we invite you to do so. You can hear both the audio and see the video on Facebook if you want to watch the matches today. Ellie back to serve. Serves in. Pass by Scott City. Set. The bump set. Outside hit. Allie does a good job. Audrey tries to push it over deep. Scott City again pass it for a set. Hallie passes up. Taylor back set to Chloe. Scott City getting up in the air. Hallie had a good... Oh, they called us in the net. Yep. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two to two the score. Scott City to serve. Serving is going to be Avery Lewis, the senior. Serves up. Casiana has a good pass. Taylor tries to go outside to Audrey. Audrey tries to keep it in play. Scott City hits it. Audrey pushes it deep. I'd like to see him keep the ball on their side of the floor and get an attack. Norton up. David gets it across the net. Scott City coming with an attack. Oh. Just right on the line, and it yeah. is in for Scott City. David was there to try to get the block, but Chloe... It's just tough at her height. Scott City's three, Norton two. Ooh, Casey comes clear up to try to get it. Taylor tries to get it out of the net, and then we just don't go for it. 
another mental layer on the Blue Jays that we typically don't see. Yeah, and it's not just one player. They're all just a little off. Casey with a nice short pass. Taylor, that was a little off. Scott City coming back. Oh, Audrey was there for the block, but she had her inside hand pointed out. you got to get the outside hand pointed in so it blocks towards the court. That's close. Scott City leads 5-2 over Norton. Serves up to Scott. Chloe makes a pass. Taylor, bump pass, bump set to Chloe. And they block the bump pass coming over the net and score again 6-2. to two. We have to get a good pass so we can go to our big hitters. Setters got to know who your best hitters are and go to them. That's a good job by Alexis David adjusting, and it's a kill for her. Great job. 6-3. Norton gets to serve now. Audrey Bina back to serve. Good hard serve. Touch by the Blue Jays. Audrey setting back to Leah Clark. Leah takes a good hard hit deep. Scott City going cross court. Allie was there. Oh, kicks it out. 7-3, Scott City, sorry. No, that's right. Coach Maria was hoping for there was a touch there by Scott City, but no one called it. Scott City back to serve. Go short to Chloe Cox, up to Audrey Bina. Quick set to Alexis David. And Scott City blocked it. We weren't covering. Right back to David, and she couldn't control. And they score again, 8-3. to three. Scott yep. City leading. Served by Scott City, Casiana. Clark does a good job stepping up with the off pass. Scott City coming back. Say Alexis David was right there, and the girl tried to go around her, and it went out of bounds. That's a great job by Alexis. Eight to four. Scott City is leading. Norton will get the serve back. Chloe Cox to serve. See how they handle this. She's got a good serve. Up, going to the deep. Reset. Back row. Oh. Yeah. It's a little, little confusing there. Instead of setting the net they set in the back row and the girl just did a standing hit over and I don't think anybody was ready for it 9-4 Scott City leading and they're serving Kenley Wren serving Keyswetter with the pass Nina with the set Clark can't quite handle it that was far to yep. the left and it uh, was just difficult for her to get there but tough angle to get around the antenna there. We have a timeout on the court with Scott City leading Norton 10-4. We'll be back in 30 seconds. As cold and flu season approaches, Norton County Hospital and Clinics is here to keep you healthy. Follow these simple tips to stay well. Wash up often and scrub hands for at least 20 seconds. Cough into your elbow to prevent spreading germs. Avoid sharing food and utensils. Get the shot. The flu vaccine is your best defense. Keep your distance from anyone who's sick. And if you're feeling unwell, stay at home and recover. Stay healthy and enjoy a flu-free season. Welcome back. Scott City has the early run here, leading 10-4 over Norton, and Scott City is serving. Yep, Blue Jays really need to get something going here. Need a good pass and then attack. Cox with the pass up. Dina with the set outside to Brooks. Brooks hit it over. Scott City pushing it outside. Casey on a great dig. Audrey tries to set it out to Howie. Howie does a good job reaching for it. Scott City again attacking from the outside. Blocked by Clark. Back to Scott City. They're going over. Casey does a good job with her dig. Audrey gets it out to Howie who tips it to Scott City. Scott City gets it up. Set outside again. Down the line. Dina has to take it. Clark sets to David. David goes deep. Again, Scott City. Oh, the they hit the antenna. That's the point for Norton. Great hustle by both teams. Scott City 10, Norton 5, and Casiana Keyswetter back to serve. Serves up, goes deep. Set outside. 
A little short set. They got a touch by the Blue Jays. Clark sets it outside to Brooks. She goes down the line, pushing outside for Scott City, and Ellie Miller It went off her hand. She was pointed with her inside hand out, and it's got to be the other way. It's hard to get over there when you're playing in the middle. you got to be fast, and those sets are coming pretty fast, and you just got to have quick feet and get over. Scott City serves. Howie, yes. Great job. She hit out of the middle that time. Audrey got her a set, something she could work with, and she hit it down. She'll get the ball back trailing 11-6. to six. Clark back to serve for the Blue Jays. Goes to the back row. Again, Scott City sets outside. Casiana gets a nice pass. Clark pushes out to Audrey. Audrey hit, tried to hit down the line. It's a block from Scott City, but it went out of bounds. Norton gets the point. They only trail 11 to 7 now. We'd really like to see some good blocks and some net play here and then get a good setup for the Blue Jays. They're going on the right side. There's a block, but it goes out of bounds. Yep. 12 yep. 7. Ellie's shaking her head. She knows. Get there a little faster. She can do it. Substitution. Taylor Schlegel back in the set. Served by Scott City. Casiana with the pass. Audrey steps in. Quick set out of the middle for Scott City. Taylor trying to get it over. Audrey pushing it. Roll it to the back row. And it's out. 13-7 Scott City. Nice little dink there by Miller. Now it's 13 to 8, Norton serving. Brooks serving. Serves up here. Again, Scott City pushing out. Goes to Casiana. Sets outside to Audrey. Comes back at Audrey. She tries to push it to the deep corner. Scott City outside. Brooks does a good job getting it up. Casiana, nice, a nice set to Audrey. Taylor has to take the first pass. Oh, it's a good job. Chloe came up. Audrey's going up. Oh, my. Oh. Audrey wanted a net call on Scott City, not getting it. Yeah. And Scott City wins that point, and they lead 14 to 8. Yeah, he called Audrey in the net, I believe, when she swung. Scott City serving, goes to Casiana. Pass up, set back to Ellie. Block, Taylor gets a dig. Ellie sets it up high for Audrey, and Audrey hits it off the hands of the blocker, and it's out of bounds. Scott City 14, Norton 9. Miller to serve. Love to see Ellie get on the roll here. She has a wicked serve when she's on. Good serve. Goes over. Good job by Alexis David. Her timing when it comes up over like that is so good. 14 to 10. Scott City leading. Norton making a move. Serves up. Nice hard serve. Scott City attacked from the right side down the line. Brooks had to pass up. Audrey going for a, a, she swung hard. Scott City trying to keep it on their side, but Alexis David, again, that timing, she goes up and hits it down. 14-11 now. Ellie Miller still serving. Good serve. Oh, a little bit of a bad pass for the Scott City. Blue Jays score, ace for Ellie. Goes up. Good. Pass to the setter. Setter does a jump set to the middle. It's into the net. Yep. We like that. That's good. Norton within two. 
14 to 12. Another serve by Ellie Miller. Nice hard serve. They had trouble controlling that. Setter, can you get it? Outstanding. Norton now within one off the serve of Ellie Miller. Ellie serve is good. Pass to the middle of the court by Scott. Oh. Girl tried to go down the line, and Audrey wasn't over. It went off her arm and out of bounds. 15-13, Scott City leads, and now they have the serve with Avery Lewis. It was a good run for the Blue Jays. Hopefully they can keep that confidence and momentum their way. Served by Scott City. Brooks makes the pass up. Taylor gives a quick set to Alexis Davis. Out. Scott City serving. Brooks with the pass. Taylor gets the pass up. Audrey has to just tip it. Scott City's going for it. Cross court to Brooks. David sets the ball to Cox. Scott City has the free ball it back to the Blue Jays short. Audrey steps in. Casiana comes from the back row to get it over the net. Back to Scott City. Bump pass to the right. Oh, they called Norton in the net. 17-14 now the score. Scott City leading. Good hustle by the Blue Jays. People are stepping in now, taking a ball. Serve by Scott City. Brooks with a pass to Taylor. Taylor goes quick set to the middle. By Alexis David. Hits it down. Nice kill there for Alexis and Pulls within two, and Audrey will go back to serve. Nice serve. Tough pass. Scott City pushes it over to the Blue Jays. Trying to do a quick set to Alexis. Didn't work. Back to Scott City. Pushes it out to the left side. Alexis block back on Scott City side. Steps in. Tries to set set the out. set the right side, but it went behind the antenna. The fish are right on top of it, quickly waving his flag, and Norton is now within one. 17-16. Dina back to serve again. Little jump serve. A little heat on that one. High pass, and they can't quite oh, they did get it over. Oh, Hallie comes from the back row. Alexis just pushes it over to Scott City side. Left side going up. Touched by Clark. Oh, Not able to get a clean block. Yep. It's a good touch by Clark. David tried to get it and it just went out. Scott City 18, Norton 16. Coming back to serve is Megan Trout for Scott City. I tell you, there isn't a lack of hustle here. They're taking a time out here. They're going to ask one of the photographers to move. He was in a bad position on the court and they didn't like that. They're asking them to get behind the, the, the back lines, and yep. they're moving another photographer back behind the line. For the safety of the players and the photographers. All right, we're ready to go. Some of us cross lines a lot easier than others. <laughs> Serve from Scott City to Norton. Audrey does a quick set to Alexis. She pushes it over back to Scott City. They try to go to the outside, back row of Push over. Pass by Keyswetter. Quick set to David. Oh. In the net. 19-16. Scott City leading. Blue Jays need a good pass and a good strong attack here. Serve. Chloe gets the ball up. Good. Going outside. Oh, Audrey. Way too far out. A little bit out. As Bob Euchre would say, just a bit outside. <laughs> That's a baseball reference, folks. <laughs> 16-20's got city leading. You're killing me, small. <laughs> awesome job by the Blue Jays. Great pass. Nice quick set from Audrey to Alexis, and Alexis elevated and put it down. That quick set's hard to defend. They can't quite get a blocker over there because she has a pretty open area to hit it. 
Cox back to serve. Nice jump serve. That ball sure dropped. Hallie goes up at the net, gets it on Scott City side. They take it back to Norton. Audrey sets Hallie. She hits it to Scott City. They try to push it over. Back row, back. Kathiana to Audrey, to Hallie. Back to Scott City. Pushes it in the middle. Going back to Chloe. Now Audrey back set to Clark. Hits it over. Scott City. Push it off to the left side. Alexis blocks it. Yeah. Back on him in Scott City. Can't nice job, it. Alexis. Norton within two now. 20 to 18. Great like, job by I like having Dingley. Chloe serving, too. Yeah, for sure. She's done a great job today. Serve Scott. Close to the net. They're doing the back row attack. Oh, we're going to get an officials conference here. I don't know if they're trying to see if uh, Norton was in the net or it, it looks certainly like it was Norton's point and they're ready to serve. Well, I think the issue is the ball was close and Hallie uh, was close to being across the net. Yep, you they're going to leave it with Norton. Yep, I'll leave it with Norton. But I'm guessing the next time they'll call that. Now one of the Scott City players... Kendall Gentry wants to have a word with the official about the call. And now we're ready to go on. And Norton is trailing by one, 20 to 19, with Floyd Cox serving. Balls up, deep. Not a very good pass. They get it in the air and have to free ball it to the Blue Jays. Casey has a pass to Audrey. Audrey sets it to Hallie and a little off speed over the block, and it hits the floor. 2020, Norton has tied it up. Served by Chloe. Pass. Scott City set. And they hit it right into Alexis' block. Outstanding. Girls are ready for that one. Now Norton has the lead. Boy, it's good to say that. 21-20. Served by Cox. Little miscommunication from Scott City. They serve, get it up. Left hand hitter. Audrey's trying to step in and get the ball. Howie just has to stand there and hit it deep. Scott City back, set, left side. Uh, that's exactly what you want. They were trying to hit it around the block because Alexis was coming for him and the girl hit it long. Norton leading 22 20. Chloe continues to serve. It's served by Chloe. Mishandled by the passer. They have to free ball it to the Blue Jays. Casey with the pass. Pushing out to Hallie. Hallie coming. Chloe makes the pass. Audrey's going back to Hallie. She just stands and hits it over. Clark with the block. And a smile. Oh. oh. Bodies on the floor. Blue Jays not able to get to the ball, and uh, it's going to be point for Scott City. Norton leading 22-21. Back to serve is going to be Kinley Wren, the junior. Serve. Oh, it just barely covered the net. Yeah, that was, that was a tough play for Norton to catch up to. Really dropped, and Casey tried to get to it, and then... Audrey couldn't get that second one, second touch. 22-22, our score. Blue Jays making a substitution with Fawn and Steel coming in for Cox. Serve Scott City. Casey, pass. Audrey set. Hallie does a tip. Scott City gets it up. Now Howie yeah. hits it. There was no tip on that yeah. second attempt, was there? <laughs> yep. She had the kill there. Norton gets the ball back, leading 23-22. Yep. Casey on a key sweater back to serve. Ball's over the net. Pass from Scott City. It's close to the net. It had to do a jump serve. Tip it over. Leah Clark tried to get the ball, and it just didn't work out. Tied at 23. Substitution for Scott City coming in is Mackenzie Minsker. And serving will be Mackenzie Minsker. Serve 
serves over to the Blue Jays. Hallie Fonenstiel to Hallie Brooks. To Leah Clark over the net to Scott. Set outside. Good job by Fonenstiel. Casey sets up. Hallie tips it over. Back to Scott City. Push it outside. Oh, no, hit the nice. net. Audrey gets the pass. Casey takes it over to Hallie. Hallie pushes it over the net. Scott's back with an attack on the left side. Oh, that was a heck of a cross court. Hallie just couldn't. She was going one way, and the ball was going the other. Scott City 24, Norton 23. Time out on the court. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Let Bumps Auto Body help you take pride in your ride. Robert has years of experience and can go to work for you. If you're looking at a complete restoration or help with collision repairs, Robert can restore all makes and models of vehicles. Bumps Auto Body does glass work, fiberglass repair, and paintless dent repair. Let Bumps Auto Body help you take pride in your ride. Call for an estimate, 877-3977, or stop in West Highway 36, right behind Jacobs Auto Sales. Scott City 24, Norton 23, a very close set going on here. Hey, this is kind of a pivotal pivotal moment in the season. If these Blue Jays can get through these tough games and win, it's going to carry through to their league tournament next week in Phillipsburg. Let's go back to serve for Scott City. Serves up and over. Casey takes the pass. Audrey takes the set out to Halley. She goes right down the middle. Oh. Scott gets it up. They go over with a free ball. Ellie passes to Audrey. Audrey goes back out to Hallie. Hallie jumps over. Scott City gets it in the air, pushes it out left side. Hallie now passes to Audrey. Audrey goes back to Hallie. She goes for a tip. Scott City's there. Scott City tries, oh. to, tries to push it over the net, and Hallie's there to block it back in their face. Tied at 24. Going back to serve for Norton is going to be Clark. Good serve by Clark. Goes up for Scott City. Rolls it across. Clark takes the first pass. Ellie. Oh, darn. Hallie. Hallie was set to Ellie. Hit into the net. And now Scott City will serve set point. Leading 25-24. Norton needs a stop right here. Taylor Schlegel back in. Ooh. Missed it on the on the set by Fawn and Chill and Scott City will take the first set, 26-24. That was a tough serve by Scott City. That, that was a good effort by Howie. Well, it's going to take about a two-minute timeout. We'll be set for the second set when we come back. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting-edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area's students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. With unlimited guesses, I bet you still can't name everything available for your farm, vehicle, and more at Roy Sells and Service in Norton. Owners Brian and Kate Fonden still are proud to serve Norton and the surrounding area. They have interstate batteries, auto parts, oil, welding supplies, DeWalt and Milwaukee power tools, kids' farm toys, farm equipment supplies, and so much more. Come out and see everything at Roy Sells and Service on East Highway 36. You won't believe how much they have for you right here in Norton. Yep, it's that time of year again. As the seasons change, so does your health and wellness needs. At Moffitt Drug, they've got you covered from head to toe. If you're feeling under the weather, no worries. The friendly pharmacists are there to help you find the perfect remedies for those pesky fall colds and allergies. And don't forget to get your flu shots and essential vitamins to stay in tip-top shape all season long. Remember, your health is their top priority at Moffitt Drug, downtown Norton, where autumn meets wellness. Even if it's been years since you graduated, your college team is your team for life. Well, you can have a Farm Bureau agent for life, and auto, and home, and business insurance. Imagine that, one insurance agent for everything. It's that simple. 
So get a Farm Bureau agent for life. Contact me, Joy Johnson, at 785-877-3221. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Rev up your engine and hit the road with confidence. Norton Auto Supply, your CarQuest dealer, is your one-stop shop for all your automotive needs. Whether you're a seasoned mechanic or DIY enthusiast, we've got you covered. From quality replacement parts to essential tools and accessories, Norton Auto Supply has it all for you. The friendly and knowledgeable staff is there to help you find the right parts for your vehicle. Visit your local CarQuest dealer, Norton Auto Supply, today and experience the difference. Norton Auto Supply, keeping you on the road one part at a time. We are underway. Norton leading one to nothing in the second set. Here's Jody Cox with your play-by-play. Yep, Scott City pushing it outside. Attack cross court. Hallie Brooks with a nice pass, and there's well, it didn't quite get to the second ball. One to one, our score. Scott City playing tough here against our Lady Jays. Yep. Leah Clark in for Taylor Schlegel. Served by Scott City. Chloe makes a pass to go outside to Audrey. A little too high. Audrey was looking for a quick set, but that would pass. That set was just too high, and she had already committed to where she was going. Back to serve is Avery Lewis. Serves up over to Chloe Cox. Nice high pass. Leah gets it up to Audrey. She jumps. Hits nice hard, but Scott City gets it up. Oh, quick and, return there. Yeah by Kenley Wren and Norton not ready for it. They thought it was going to go in the net and she just jumped up and hit it over. 3-2, to two, Scott City. 3-1, to one, I'm sorry. Served by Scott. Chloe with a nice pass. Set to Audrey. Audrey pushes the push set. Scott City, they do a back set to the right side. The hitter adjusts. Nice hard hit. Casey gets it up. Hallie from the back row hits it over. Pass and a quick set. Back row hit for Scott City. Hit into the net, though. Yep, Leah had to step in, and it was just reaction was just pretty quick and couldn't quite get it high enough for somebody to do something. Scott City serving. Casey, nice high pass. Goes back to Ellie Miller. He's out. Out of bounds. Scott City leads five to one. Ooh. And a nice short play serve for an ace. Yeah, that was a tough, tough, tough serve. Gonna have a timeout on the court. Coach Rio wants to talk it over. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Hey there, listeners. Are you tired of squinting at your screens, struggling with blurry vision, or constantly misplacing your glasses? Well, it's time to see clearly again with the help from Cole Family Eye Care of Norton. Their experienced team provides comprehensive eye exams, personalized eyewear consultations, and the latest in contact lens technology. Plus, they accept most insurance plans. Don't let poor vision hold you back. Schedule your appointment today by calling 877-5115. Rediscover the world with clarity at Cole Family Eye Care of Norton. Your vision is their focus. What makes Pioneer Brand List E3 Soybeans different? Pioneer offers proven products and decades worth of expertise to help make growers successful. Clydesdale Agronomy has the expertise and support to help growers successfully adopt this responsible weed control system. Learn more at pioneer.com slash enlist E3 or contact your local Pioneer sales representative, Randy Clydesdale at 785 871-7745. Go Blue Jays. We're back in action. Blue Jays attacked by Chloe Cox. Scott City gets the ball in the air. They're going to free ball it to Norton. Casey has a pass to Clark, who was outside to Audrey. And they call it in. Down the line. It was in. They're looking, uh, Scott City players looking for an overturn from the chair, but they're not going to get it. 6-2, 6-2, to two, Scott City is leading, and Miller, Ellie Miller, back to serve for Norton. Serves up, goes deep. Nice pass to their setter, jump set to the middle. She goes around the block. Clark goes up to go to Audrey, and it comes over to Scott, who pushes it over. Ellie to Chloe. Chloe's just getting a free ball over to Scott City. They set outside. 
And that was way out from Scott City. No touch. 6-3 now our score, and Kelly Miller serving. So it goes to the middle of the court. Kind of a bad pass. Scott City has to hustle. And you see the free ball over to the Blue Jays. Ellie makes the pass. Clark quick set to David over to Scott, who goes to the middle and out of bounds. Six to four. Norton making a move here. Yep. More energy on that side of the floor right now. This group really needs to just figure it out and work through. Nice hard serve by Ellie, and it's an ace. Boy, when she gets going, her serves are bullets. Six to five, Norton within one. Ellie back to serve again. Ooh. Seven five. Out of bounds. Scott City back to serve. Little we'll jump serve to Hallie Brooks. Hallie gets it in the air. Casey steps up to pass it. Chloe, cross court. Middle of the floor for Scott. They go left front, kind of roll it, and it's deep. Point Blue Jays. 7 6 our score. Scott City leading. Norton serving. Audrey's going to go back to serve for the Lady Jays. You get Audrey on a roll with her serves. Typically pretty good and consistent. <laughs> oh, she gets one off the top of the net and it falls in the blank spot. It wasn't exactly what I was talking about. Hey, it worked. We got a point. We're tied at seven. Don't complain. <laughs> good hard serve. Scott gets it up. They go on that left side. Lexus David there for a block. All right, Norton now has retaken the lead, eight to seven. She comes so close to football. Yeah. <laughs> nice serve. Pass goes towards their bench. The setter gets it to the middle of the floor, and they have to hustle and free ball it over. Casey has a pass to Audrey. Quick set to David. Hit back to Scott City. Hit long. Yep. Norton up by two, nine to seven. Got <clears throat> City's hustling, just not quite going their way. Tina serving again. Pass in the air. Somebody stepped up to set. Casey with the pass to Audrey. Audrey bumps set to Chloe. Chloe cross court. Oh, oh nice. Oh, touch off a of Scott City point. Oh, wow. That was an extreme cross court there by, yeah. up by Chloe for the point. 10-7, Norton leading. Audrey still serving. Ooh, cut that one. Yeah. Scott gets it over. Audrey takes the first serve. Leah steps up. Oh. It's out. So they'll give up the serve and the point, but they do lead 10-8 now over Scott City. Serve to Scott. Brooks with the pass. Chloe steps up and pushes it out to Clark over the net. Scott said he's going to push it left. Attack. Try to go over the... Oh, they called a touch. Coach Mario having a word with the official who called it. 10-9. Norton is still leading. They can get the ball back here and extend that. Yep. And serve Casey. The pass to Audrey. Audrey quick set to Alexis. Out. Just a little off. Tied at 10. Yep. Lexus does a good job, has a good arm swing. You've got to keep that ball in front of her and let it go down. When she's under it, it goes out. Casey with the pass, Audrey with the set. Leah does a good job. That ball was so close to the net. And there, Lexus is there to block again. They go deep corner, out of bounds. Phew. You oh, is right because yeah. that was close. Yeah, that was the right idea by Scott City going to that deep corner. It just was. A little long. Norton back on top, 11-10. Chloe Cox with the serve. Scott City gets it. Oh, 
Didn't get to it. Miscommunication there at the net, and they just watched the ball go to the court. Norton up by two now. Throws up by Cox. Again, tough pass for Scott City. Audrey had to take the first pass. Clark steps up to David. Blocked by Scott City. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Brooks. We love yeah. that. A little tip I, across. I tell you, that natural athleticism sure comes in handy. 13-10, Norton. Chloe with the serve, going to Scott City. Pass towards their bench in the middle of the floor. The girl rolls it over. Audrey has to take the first pass. Clark tries to push it out. Oh. Oh, thankfully, Howie was the lefty. Got it back in. Now it's back to Norton's side. Leah... The quick set was a little high. Audrey taking the first pass again. Leah goes to Hallie, who tips it. Tips it again. Scott City pushes it outside. Goes for the block. Clark gets a touch. He's her with the pass. Bina with the set. Brooks hit back on their side. And then Clark hits it to Scott City. Good rally. Pass. Ooh, cross court. That was tough. That was a nice cross court hit. By Both Scott teams City. playing very well that time. Yep. And- Scott City comes away with the point, and Norton leads 13 to 11. Scott City will go to the serve. I was going to say, if, if Norton wins that point, Scott City will be calling a timeout, but now yeah. they'll play on. Yep. Served by Scott City. Casiana passes a little off. Clark goes up. Good hit. We cover. Clark steps up to hit it. Brooks attack. Scott City pushes it out. Try to go across the court. Chloe does a great job keeping it in play. Audrey tries to pass it to Brooks. Brooks pushes it over. Scott City going left side. Rolls it deep. Casey with the pass to Bina. Bina quick set to David. who pushes it to the left. Oh, they're going deep. Clark gets it up. Oh, it's a good try. Norton's lead is one, 13 to 12. Scott City starting to play those deep corners, and Audrey tried to get back there and had an open hand, and they called it a lift. Got a timeout here. Oh, Chloe's bleeding, I think. Cherry Brooks doing a good job as an assistant to help take care of things so the head coach doesn't have to. Coach Mario taking the opportunity to have a discussion with the official during the yeah. He doesn't miss many of those opportunities, <laughs> does he? It's 13 to 12, Norton leading Scott City by one. Scott City did win the first set, 26-24, so it's a must win for our Lady Jays. They have Chloe taken care of. We're ready to resume play with Scott City serving. The Blue Jays are doing a great job hustling. That's a short serve. Yeah. Oh, couldn't get it. Piper Fox with the good short serve. Yep, that was a tough serve. The girl just got a talk. Tied at 13. Chloe's going to come out now. Okay, we fall in still. We'll come back in. Serve Scott, short, Casey, pass up. Audrey jumps set to David. Scott City blocks it. Scott City back in the lead, 14 to 13. Serving to Audrey Schwartz. Serves up, Casey with the pass. Audrey jumps set. Allie in the middle. Oh, she felt yeah. that one. It's a little different when a lefty's coming at you. She felt that one strong well, for Alice, the kill. Howie used to play middle, and now she's moved to the two outsides. But I tell you, she can move back middle and do just fine. 14-14. Casey with the serve to the back row. Good pass by Scott. Little short set. They go cross court. And it's in. Just in. Got City back on top, 15-14. Scott City with the serve. Goes to Casey. Passes up to Audrey. Audrey going middle. Holly. Scott City coming back at Norton. Touched by Clark. Brooks gets it up. 
Audrey goes to Clark again, cross court. Pass by Scott. They try to tip it over. Ellie's there for the pass to Audrey. Audrey goes out to Howie. Howie has to really reach in. Kind of a short set. Scott City coming back cross court. Rip in. Scott City back up by two, 16 to 14. They're really cutting the ball from the middle to the right. I think we're going to have to adjust and move that block over just a little bit and make them cut it the other way. At least a couple of times and see what see if they can. Serving for Scott City. Short. Into the net. Boy, that's, that's a mistake we needed them to make. Krista Irvin gives us a gift. Norton down by one with the serve. Leah Clark back to serve. Balls up. Goes deep. Pass. Oh. Goes into the net. Audrey was able to block it back down into the Scott City side. Good job by Audrey. Get up there and tip the ball back down. Yep. Tied at 16. Clark again. Good serve. Kind of a short pass for Scott City. Hit it outside. Touch. Casey gets down and gets the ball. Ellie steps up. Long set. Too long for him to get to it. Yep. So it comes back to Scott City with a one-point lead, 17 to 16. I really like to see them just reacting and playing. I know Ellie can set the ball. You'll get that. That's why we play these tournaments. Short pass. Chloe to Howie. Back to Chloe. Now Scott City. Nice block by Howie Brook. Clark taking the first one. Howie going over in two. Scott City coming back. Casey with the short. Oh. Scott City 18, Norton 16, and timeout is called on the court. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Everyone has a big to-do list nowadays. With a busy schedule, it's easy to forget about yourself. Don't neglect your dental health. Schedule a quick and easy dental checkup with Dr. Shirt. They're open Monday through Thursdays, 8.30 to 5. Call and set up an appointment today at 785-877-2821 or stop in at 205 South Kansas in Norton. Dr. Shirk and his staff are ready to get your smile looking its best. Welcome back. Scott City 18, Norton 16. I think Kendall Gentry is serving for Scott City when Norton gets back onto the court, and they're headed that way now. Norton had the lead for a while and has been making this run, but Scott City just won't go away, and Norton's had a few errors that really kind of make all the difference at this point. Casey with a pass. Kind of in the middle. Everybody has to get out of the way. Audrey has to tip it deep. And it scores. 18-17. We have Hallie Brook going back to serve for us. We like that. Yep, she's a great server. I do like her in the front row, but we'll we'll have her serve too, I guess. All's up. Pass. Set. Kind of a short set. Has to go over. Clark steps up. Chloe steps up. Audrey hits it. Scott City gets it up. Casey with the pass to Clark. Goes outside to Bina. Ooh. Kind of a spinner off the heel of her hand, but it finds the empty spot. That's all that matters. I think they're trying to do a little more shoot sets to the outside, but when Audrey goes, that set was just a little too high, but thankfully she was able to get it over. Tied at 18. Brooks with a good serve. Nice block by Miller. Free ball. Yep, Scott City free ball. Casey with the pass, quick to Ellie, and a block out of bounds by Scott City. Norton retakes the lead, 19 to 18. What a match! What a set! Got going. Scott City did win the first one, 26-24. Yep. DJ's got to stay in it here. They can do it. Pass to the middle. Oh, went right between the hands of Miller. Tied at 19. Scott City to serve. Serving Avery Lewis. Scott City serves short. Chloe Cox. Clark steps up. Howie Brooks from the back row gets it over the net. Cross court. 
Brooks with a nice pass to Clark. Clark goes out to Bina. Bina has to roll it over. Scott City, oh. Scott City outside hits the top of the tape and it just went over on the Norton side. Nothing you can do there when it yeah. rides the tape like that. Yep. Now Scott City leading 20 to 19. Oops. Pass to girls miscommunication. Ellie has the free ball it to Scott City. Deep ball. That's awesome. And the oh. ball drops. <laughs> Off a free ball. How's that? That was great. Norton tied at 20 with the serve now. Good job by Ellie to send it deep. It's always easy when it's in the middle of the floor, but they got to move when you send it deep. Ellie's serve is good. Scott City passes the ball, jumps back set. Left hand. Oh. Mm. Off of David, out of bounds. Back Scott City's way, leading 21-20. Serving Megan Trout. City serve. Hallie gets it up. Casey out to Chloe. Chloe cross court. Scott's getting it up. Back over free ball to Norton. Casey steps in. Sets to Clark. Clark's going to go middle. Off. David pushing it over to Scott City. Scott outside. Rolls it over. Touch. Clark gets it in the air. Brooks steps oh. up. Oh, it's off. Missed hit by Brooks, and it goes out of bounds. Yep. It says Scott City 22, Norton 20. Need a big stop right here. Scott City serves the ball. Clark with the set to Bina. Bina just not hitting the ball hard today. This communication by Scott City. Up. Yep. <laughs> 22-21. Scott City leading. Norton continuing to serve. Bina back to serve. Out. Yeah. 23 21 Scott City. Serving for Scott City is Kinley Wren. Serves up. Goes to Casey. Casey. Pass to Audrey. Audrey outside to Leah Clark. Nice hard hit. Oh, another miscommunication by Scott City. I tell you, they're giving Blue Jays a chance here. we got to get our serves in and capitalize. Kenley Wren was behind the ball, but she thought somebody else was going to step in front of her and didn't go for it. Cole North. Cox back to serve. Nice floater. Scott gets it up. Blocked by David and Clark. Deep ball. Scott City's going to send a free ball. He's better with the pass. Bina. With the set to Brooks, and Scott City can't handle it. Great job by the wow. Jays. Tied it back up at 23. I don't think people understand how well Hallie does when that set isn't perfect. She adjusts and still elevates and hits that ball. It's, it's pretty impressive. Chloe with another good serve. Scott City pushing it outside. Deep cross court. Clark's there. Bina set middle. David was kind of going the other way. It's a tough position. David gets it up. Clark in the air. Bina needs to push it over. Scott City sets middle. Block. Bina has to take it. Brooks tips it over. Scott City back set. Blocked by Clark. Oh, what a block. North now leads 24-23, serving for the sack. Boy, I tell you, that shows the athleticism of Clark. She's not very tall, and she is jumping and getting that block. That's outstanding. Cox with the serve. It's good. Oh, David gets a smash on it. Free ball over to Blue Jays. Howie's going with it on the there second. Is. Yep. Martin Watch. comes back for the win. 25-23 will be that one. So we are now one set apiece. And uh, going to go for the final one here in a couple of minutes. I'll tell you what. Lady Jays don't have any give up in them, do they? Not, thankfully. Not this time. They were A lot of things were going their way. You know, Scott City had some miscommunication, but the Blue Jays didn't give up, and they kept hustling, and that's what you got to do. We, we repeat, this is a really key matchup right here as far as advancing into the championship pool. We know Garden Plain has won both of their matches, and 
They're getting set to play their third match now, so they have the opportunity to go into the championship match undefeated. It is Scott City and Norton each with a 2-1 and one record coming into this match, and now they are split 1-1, one and one, and we'll go to the final of this match here when we come back in about two minutes on KQNK. Next Tech is proud to now offer social media monitoring from Bark, designed by parents for parents. Bark is a service that scans text messages, over 30 social media apps, and other online activity, keeping you informed and your child protected. With Bark from Next Tech, parents get alerts for potential dangers easily and effortlessly. Interested in learning more? Visit next-tech.com slash bark or call 877-625-7872. You want your bank to offer services that are easy to use and easy to understand. With Equity Bank, you have access to great banking services like online banking and bill pay, a free mobile app, Apple and Android Pay, and even mobile check deposit. Unlike other banks, Equity Bank won't hide fees in complicated services or disclosure language. Plus, customers put even more money in their pocket thanks to nation wide ATM access and no fees on your ATM transactions. Equity Bank, member FDIC. Precision under pressure. That's what area students and athletes strive for every day. And Natoma Manufacturing Corporation strives to produce the highest quality products along with great communication in their drive to achieve their goals. Natoma Manufacturing Corporation wishes the best for all of the area students and athletes this school year and wherever they are going in life. Good luck and have fun out there from Natoma Manufacturing Corporation, located on East Highway 36 in Norton. When life happens, Boxler Insurance will be there to help you get through it. This is David Davis from Boxler Insurance Agency. Be prepared for life's unexpected events with one of our many just-in-case insurance options. We not only assess your insurance needs and get you the policies that best meet those needs, we will also be there if you ever need to use those policies by assisting with submitting claims. Start to finish, we're there for you. Contact us at 785-877-5128 or stop by our office located at 108 North 1st in Norton. Well, Scott City wins the first set, 26-24. Norton the second, 25-23. And here we go with the final right now. Allie with the serve. Scott City and a block by Ellie Miller and Chloe Cox. That's a great start, leading one to nothing now. Brooks serving again. Scott City had the ball come over the net. Ellie Miller tried to hit it over. Now Scott, back to Brooks. Clark steps up to Bina. Bina hit it, and they can't handle it. It's out of bounds. Two to one, Norton leading, and Brooks still serving. I'd like to see him close this one early. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much more my heart could take. <laughs> oh, and an ace. Nice job. They're feeling it now. We just need to keep rolling. Maybe you could go down and talk to him at a timeout and tell him that you need him to finish it. <laughs> well, I'm sure Coach Mario has, has expressed that. <laughs> Clark has tried a quick set to Ellie Miller. She tips it over. It's back to the Blue Jays and a push back to Scott. Deep ball to Casey. Clark pushes it out to Bina, and she nice. kills it. I tell you what, Audrey, she's, she really hasn't been in the game offensively. Audrey was up so quick on that kill yep. that Scott City didn't have time to react. Norton leads 4-0. You know, the more chances she gets at hitting it hard, I, the better she sets. And it might not make sense, but oh, nice block by There's Ellie block. Miller. Yes. Norton up 5-0. Great job by the Blue Jays. They're all just doing their job, passing, setting, hitting the ball, blocking like they're supposed Time out, good one. Norton leads 5-0 on this deciding set. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Get more for your dollar at your Jamboree on sale this week. Boston Butt Pork Roast, $1.98 a pound. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs, two forty eight a pound. Select varieties, Dole's Chopped Salad, two ninety eight each. Washington Cosmic Crisp Apples, $0.98 cents a pound. Select varieties, Ragu Pasta Sauce, two for $4. And select varieties, Blue Ribbon Classics Frozen Dairy Desserts, just five ninety eight each. Enjoy these savings and more this week at your Jamboree Foods with location in Norton and Hill City. 
Welcome back. Norton comes back on fire, leading five to nothing. Blue Jays doing a great job. Hallie Brooks steps up. Good serve. Scott City. Right side, great block by Ellie Miller. Back to Scott City. They're coming left side again. Try to go over the block. Clark has a pass. Oh, Ellie did a great job getting a touch on it. Ellie now passes it over. Scott City with the attack on the left side. Oh, it just went off of Chloe's hands, and Ellie, or, uh, Leah Clark couldn't quite get to it. First point for Scott City in this match. Five to one is our score. Norton leading the deciding set of the match. Ellie Miller doing a great job at the net. There's a pass by Cox. Pretty close to the net. Audrey with a nice hit. She hit it Ellie. hard. Oh, oh, and then Ellie gets blocked. Darn. Two super hard hits there. And Scott City was up to the pass. Yep. Norton five, Scott City two. Scott Hot. City third. Casey with the pass. A little off. Ellie has to step up. Nope. Can't get it over through the antenna. Audrey short serving there, and it's 5-3 to three Norton after Norton led 5-0. Get it back. Serve. Casey with the pass. Clark with the set. Bina hits oh. down the line right at the setter. That is so hard for those setters that are covered behind that Bina's block. feeling strong now. Mm-hmm. She's hitting a lot harder than those first first uh those first two sets a yeah. little more spring in her jumps and sets are placed a little better where she likes them and she's doing a great job served by ellie miller scott city scott city attacks left brooks with the pass leah goes to audrey again out. oh audrey's out norton six scott city four Good pass and a good set there. Andre just didn't quite capitalize. Scott City made a substitution for a front row player. Serves up. Goes to Brooks. Brooks to Clark. Clark, quick set to David. David over to Scott City. Deep pass back to Casiana. Clark goes over to Bina. Bina cross court. Up in the air by Scott. Try to roll it, touch. No, oh, oh got it it there. Yeah, pushed it over. By Megan Trout that pushes it over. Good play by Scott City. Norton leading by one, six to five. Back to serve is going to be Avery Lewis. Serve goes to Cox. Dina steps up to push it out. Cox cross court. Back to Scott City. Middle. Ooh, she cut that around David. Five at six. Those good middles, they were cut it to the right or to the left. Got to be ready on the side there. Short serve. Short no. serve quite ready. Now Scott City has their first lead of this set, seven to six. Norton jumped out to a 5-0 lead, and Scott City has recovered. Serves up going to Urbina. Mm. Yep, timeout. Coach Mario wants to talk to him. Lost the momentum here. 8-6, Scott City leading. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Nothing beats the taste of homegrown and hometown service. Porter Ranch Beef guarantees both. You're guaranteed beef raised locally on Porter Ranch and beef processed locally and packaged for family servings. Vacuum sealed for guaranteed freshness. They also offer specialty orders, including quarter, half, and whole beef. Add in Alma cheeses, pickled products, beef snacks, and nuts, and you're all set to go. Hometown flavor, hometown freshness, and hometown friendly service. That's Porter Ranch Beef on North Highway 283 north of the stoplight. And welcome back. Scott City has come back to take the lead. 8-6 after Norton led 5-0. Coming out of the timeout. Blue Jays just kind of lost their momentum, but I'm hoping this timeout they can come back and get it put together to finish this one. Serves up short. Mm. Cox. Twice that short service. Yep. Scott City goes middle, deep. Brooks and Casey. Now David. 
Pass a little outside, going to the right. Cross court deep, Casey. David has to step up. Bina pushes it deep, corner. Back to Scott City. Left side, attack, over, out. Out. Norton gets the ball back. And Scott City has a one-point lead. Audrey Bina will be serving for the Lady Jays. Good serve by Audrey. Scott, little push. Audrey has to take the first pass. Clark steps up and tips it over. Back to Scott City. They're going to set back set. Mm. Mm. That was tough. Went down the line, and Brooks wasn't quite ready. Scott City back up by two, nine to seven. Turns up. Casey takes the first pass. Audrey quick set to David. She pushes it over. Scott set outside. Casey pass up. Lena goes to Clark. Well, they blew a whistle. I don't know what happened here. Out of order, maybe. Huh. Whatever it was, it's point for Scott City. Huh. Short. Short serve, and that's worked for them a few times yep. there. Now yep. they lead 11 to 7. They're stretching their lead. Norton needs to stop. Served by Scott. Short again. Howie gets it up to Audrey. Gets it in the air. Clark block. David gets it up. Clark goes again. Hits off the top of the net and it drops. All right, we got the ball back. 11-8. Scott City leading with Chloe Cox to serve for Norton. Chloe's good serve. Scott City over back to Norton. (laughs) David got it to Bina and Bina got it to Brooks and she just barely hit it over. Yeah, it kind of rode the the the, the ribbon there before mm-hmm. it fell on, on their side. They get the point. Chloe serving again. Goes to the side. Balls up. Back row attack. Back to Casey. Bina set outside to Clark. Clark over to Scott City. Set outside. Oh, nice David block. David has a block. Just comes off of Scott City out of bounds. That's a nice block by David. 11-10. Scott City leading. Floyd Cox serving. And served by Chloe. Oh, the pass is a little off. They had to get it over. Ouch. Oh, it came over the net, and Alexis tried to hit it, and it was just long. It's the Scott, right idea. Scott City 12, Norton 10. Scott City serving. Serves up short. Casey. Came off. Clark got it back in play. Casey gets it back over to the side of the net. Oh, Scott City took it over, and Howie did it back to him, and they couldn't handle it. I think we got lucky they had a touch on that because I think it was headed out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. Norton down by one. Not a lot of textbook volleyball going on, but there's a lot of hustle. Keyswater serving. Serves up. Pass. Set to the right side. Out. Long. Good call by the Blue Jays. Norton fights back to tie it at 12. He's led her back to serve for the Blue Jays. Falls up and over. Scott make a pass. Set middle. Tip. Chloe gets it. Clark nice. over to the net. Oh. oh. Great save there by Chloe. The second time it came over the net, we couldn't control, and Scott City will have the serve with a 13-12 to 12 lead, serving Audrey Schwartz. A lot of seniors on this Scott City squad. There are a lot. Yep. Chloe with the pass to Audrey. Audrey's going a quick set to Brooks, and it's down. It's good to see from her. She hasn't had one in a while. Yep. 13 all. It's a good switch when Howie can play that middle one time and then go to the outside. That really kind of I like our front line up. right now, too. This is a oh, good one. Oh, it serves those out. Mm. Ed Miller and Brooks and Audrey on the front. Yep. 
Serve one out. Scott City up 14-13. Long serve. Casey gets it in play. Cox just pushes it over. Scott City going middle. They go deep. Out, out. of bounds. Tied at 14. Got to put Brooks back to serve. Front line switches up. Miller, Audrey, and Cox. Good serve. Scott City going back to the left. Cut. Oh. Now Scott City up 15 14. Back to serve is Kendall Gentry. Serve gets Cox, gets it up to Clark, Kadena, block. No, that's a good block. 16 14, Scott City. What I really like to see, Leah Clark, she's asking Audrey where she wanted that set and just getting a little, trying to, trying to really place them where they need them. Miller with the hit over. Scott City. Into the net. Norton gets it back, trailing by one, and Miller will go back to serve. DJs need to score some points here. I can see him string some again. They serve. There's a lot of movement on that serve. Scott City gets it up left, left-handed. Brooks with the pass. Clark outside to Bina. Bina tries to go down the line. It's the net. Oh, David push. Up, Clark's going out to Bina. Oh, it came a... down on Scott City side. I it's hard to see. Yeah, it was. It was the block by attempt by Scott City, but yep. they couldn't get it over the net. And now we're tied at sixteen. Miller has a good serve to Scott. Passes in the middle of the floor. They go up to the left side. Touched by David. Cox tries to get it. Clark keeps it in play. Miller over to Scott's side. Ball's in the air. Free ball to the Blue Jays. Miller steps up. Good pass to Clark. Clark goes middle. David, just a quick push over the net. Back to Scott City. Going deep cross court. Brooks is up with it. Bina has a free ball to Scott City. Scott City, his jump pass to the middle. Jump set. Somebody in the net. Blue Jays in the net. It is now Scott City 17, Norton 16. Scott City serving. It's over to Chloe Cox. She gets it up in the middle. Clark going middle quick to David, and it's a kill. Tied at 17. Norton back with the serve. Being able to serve. Audrey serves up. Nice hard to the back row. Having trouble handling it. Going to try to hit it over from the back row. David gets it up. He's wetter. David again over the net. Back to Scott City. Pass is in the middle of the floor. Now they have to free ball to the Blue Jays. Deep. He's wetter with the pass to Bina. Bina quick to the middle. David tries to push it down. Bump set. Block. Block by David. And nice. Scott City can't handle it. Great job by Alexis David. Norton takes over the lead, 18 to 17, and we've got Bina serving. Football. Football. Dang. Yeah. She's been pushing that, yeah. and it finally caught her. 18 18. Megan Trout serving for Scott City. Serve goes to Keithletter. Pass to Bina. Bina quick to the middle with David. They block it. Back. Bina takes it over. Yeah. Standing slam for Bina, and it works out fine. Norton back up, 19 to 18. So she's in the back row. She's got to be careful. She can't jump if she's in front of that 10-foot line and take it over. 
Nice serve by Chloe Cox. Ball's in the air for Scott City. They try to push it left. They roll it over. Cox pass to Bina. Bina back set to Brooks. Wow, that, that Scott, went way up. That would have been in the ceiling at the other gym, huh? That would have been through the ceiling. Yeah. Keith Wetter to Bina. Nice tips tip. it over. Audrey tries to get it in the air. Now Hallie over to Clark. Scott City's got the ball. I pass outside, cross court. Oh. Tied at 19 with Scott City serving. Good hustle by both teams. Coming back to serve, coming into the game is Kinley Wren. Serve the keys wetter. Little on the side. Audrey tries to go to Brooks. Brooks tips it over. Woo. Scott City made it over the net. Audrey goes high to David, hits it down. Scott City high on the outside. Into oh, the net. Girl tries to roll it down the line and it hits the net. Norton leads 20 to 19, and we have Keyswetter going back to serve. Casey, nice short serve. It's over the net. Audrey has to take the first one. Allie likes to go over in two with those. That's good. Audrey's taking another one. Hallie's going over in two. Deep. Yeah, and it's a score. Catches it in the corner, and now Norton leads 21-19. That can really throw teams off. You think that Hallie's going to step up and set the ball, but she hits it over. That's awesome. Casey serving now. Good serve. Ball's in the middle. Pass to the left. Cross court. Cox has it up to Bina. Bina goes back set to, to Brooks. And, and the kill. kill. Outstanding. Norton leads 22 to 19. Hey, all that starts with a good passing. Chloe's doing a great job over there. Timeout. Jack City. Norton 22. N- Scott City 19. We'll be right back. The power of the bear, the stealth of a cougar, and the endurance and strength of a Mustang. That's what you'll find in the ATVs and UTVs at Norton Sports Center. At Norton Sports Center, you can find just what you need, and they know how to care for them when you need service. Give your hunting an edge this year when you know you can trust the ATV or UTV that will get you where you want to go. Find your advantage at Norton Sports Center located on West Highway 36 in Norton, or give them a call at 785-877-5452. Quick explanation, if we have to go to the auxiliary gym next, if you're watching on Facebook, we you won't have audio because the, the uh, iPad has to be a certain proximity to where we are and where they set up an auxiliary on the iPad, it's too far of a distance, so you wouldn't have audio. You can turn your radio on and listen to the audio and watch it on Facebook. That's only in the auxiliary gym, though. We're back in action. Yep. Bina gets the ball up. Brooks hits it over to Scott. Scott, set middle. Out. Out of bounds. Norton 23, Scott City 19 on this must-win match. This is for seeding in the championship pool. He's led her back to serve. The deep one. Good pass by Scott. They push it out left. Deep. Out. And it's out of bounds. Norton now serving for match point. He's winner. His serve is good. Back set to Scott. Into the net. And there it is. They do close the door on Scott City. 25 to 19 in the final set of this match. And what a match it was. Scott City, the home team, gave us all we wanted on that one. Oh, absolutely. Yep, Blue Jays did a good job hanging in there and not giving up. So now I think we go back to the auxiliary gym. I'm pulling it up here. And uh, I thought Norton against Leote, is that right? In pool A. Well, do we come out second in our pool? Is the pool over? No, we still play here. Oh, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. So we're, it's going to be, is it, it Wheatland? Norton and Wheatland is next up in full play, and that will be the auxiliary gym. Uh, and so we're going to call it a quick goodbye and move our equipment back over to the other gym. And we apologize, we will not have audio on Facebook, but we will continue to have audio on radio. You can still watch on Facebook, but no audio. We'll be back uh, when we get everything moved to the new gym, the auxiliary gym. <laughs>